Okay, all my thermal pads installed. Let's go ahead and bring the GPU back, and now we're going to put the uh, Coolant's thermal inter interface grease on it. So you open it up, poke the hole, and you spread it out. Tell you what, there's not much in here. Especially what was in the last pack I had. Okay. Got it on there, and then I take this little. Go ahead and zoom in here. And I use this and start spreading all. grease completely on there as even as possible. Now the viscosity of this thermal interface uh, grease is such that you're supposed to spread it over the GPU and that's what I've done. Now before I mount the water block I'm going to double check and I see one little spot. Make sure I got everything clean which I do and I have all my thermal pads so now it's time to mount the block. So here's my block going to get my screws out that came with it. Okay. I'm going to take the block and what you want to do is just basically set it down on there and uh, line up the holes. Let me just double check. Because once you man it and think you have it right, you need to be sure. Okay. Then you take their, they have a washer and a screw. Go ahead and put the screw through the washer and this this time you want to do it exactly the opposite of before. You want to start with the uh, CPU screws first. Now I am not tight, tight, tightening them all the way down. I'm just snugging them at first. Okay, now I've snugged those four screws. Now all the rest that are around here, what I want to do is I just want to get them started. I don't even want to snug them. I just want to get them started. So I know if, when I tighten down the screws for my CPU, or my, my GPU, that I will be aligned with all the other screws and their holes. So again, I'm put, just putting them down in any order. I'm not even snugging them. I'm just getting them started. And they all appear to be lining up perfectly. I got it on there. Let's go ahead and turn this over and see what it looks like.
Okay, there we go. It is now mounted. All I have left to do is the LED. Here's the LED, and this is pretty simple. Uh, it says in the guide that you can use hot glue, but I don't want to use any glue because, again, I may resell it, and I don't want it to be stuck in there. So what I found from my previous card to do, let me see if I can zoom in on this. is if you look at these capacitors right here if you run the wire through the capacitor and around to the connector it'll actually put pressure to leave the LEDs inside without pulling them out so what I do is I go ahead and first I'll plug them in okay it's plugged in and I will go ahead and put the thin black wire down there first and then the thicker one And then to put a little pressure on it, I'll pull them through just a little bit, if you can see that. And that puts enough pressure. It's going to hold those LEDs in there. They're not going to come out. Let me pick it up and show you. So. Okay. Well, that is how you install the Coolance VID NX480 water block on the GTX 480 uh, graphics card. Uh, I'll probably test this. What I always do after I install a uh, water block, I'll just put power to it without water. As long as you, I just want to make sure it posts. If it posts, then you're okay. You know, you can worry about temperatures later, but I want to make sure I haven't put the water block on it and done something wrong, and then I'm ready to power the computer up and something's not right and I got to troubleshoot. I'll try each card by themselves just to make short posts. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, please subscribe and rate as necessary. Thank you.